Welcome to the China Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. Everyone is wooing Vietnam. Why Hanoi's bamboo policy works. Wednesday Briefing. Biden says Israel is losing support. U.S. Committee offers 2024 legislative blueprint for countering China. U.S. in touch with Beijing about arranging military communication Pentagon. Big money managers name top investment ideas for Asia in 2024. Everyone is wooing Vietnam. Why Hanoi's bamboo policy works. Bloomberg. Vietnam should continue its policy of non-alignment and act in its own best interests as both China and the US vie for the country's support, according to an op-ed in Bloomberg. Vietnam's bamboo diplomacy, which seeks to avoid conflict and promote peace, has allowed the country to strike a balance between major powers while also developing its own networks of relationships. The author argues that Vietnam's strategy of prioritizing its own interests will ensure it maintains influence as well as economic and political success. Wednesday Briefing, Biden says Israel is losing support. New York Times. President Biden warned Israel that it risked losing international support if it continued its war in Gaza. He also suggested that Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, needed to make changes to his government, which he described as the most far-right in Israel's history. The US has previously backed Israel both in action and in rhetoric, but until President Biden's comments yesterday, it had not explicitly warned that Israel was at risk of losing international support. Meanwhile, Israel rejected a US proposal, ruling out any role for the Palestinian Authority in Gaza after the war ends. The US has also offered Israel $735 million in military aid, which it has agreed to, despite criticism of Israel's actions in the conflict. Other news from around the world includes the claim that diseases are spreading in Gaza due to dirty water and overcrowding, a cyber attack on a Ukrainian mobile operator, a visit by China's President Xi Jinping to Vietnam, the killing of 23 soldiers in an attack on a security post in Pakistan and U.S. lawmakers calling for more economic ties to be severed with China. U.S. Committee offers 2024 legislative blueprint for countering China. Reuters. A bipartisan congressional committee in the U.S. has issued a list of recommendations for resetting the country's economic ties with China. The proposals range from adding restrictions on outbound investment to China to reducing thresholds for duty-free shipments from China to the U.S. Implementing the measures would require hard trade-offs and will not be without cost, the committee said in a report. The report added, the United States now has a choice, accept Beijing's vision of America as its economic vassal or stand up for our security, values, and prosperity. U.S. in touch with Beijing about arranging military communication Pentagon. Reuters. The United States and China have been coordinating to arrange military-to-military -military talks, according to the Pentagon. The talks were agreed upon by U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese leader Xi Jinping at a summit in California last month. The talks were previously severed after then-House Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan in August 2022. The U.S. and China have been working to arrange communication, but there have been no specific engagements announced yet. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan believes progress on military-to-military -military communication is on track. The Biden administration aims to have communications between the two countries' militaries, including senior leaders and commanders in specific geographic areas. Big money managers name top investment ideas for Asia in 2024. Bloomberg. Asian fund managers are recommending buying the yen, selling Japanese bonds and investing in Indian and Indonesian stocks for 2024. They believe that the Bank of Japan will be forced to end its negative rate policy next year, leading to a stronger yen. They also expect Japanese bond prices to fall as the Bank of Japan tightens monetary policy due to quickening inflation. Indian equities are expected to rise due to strong earnings growth and increasing private investment, while Indonesian bank stocks are seen as attractive due to their strong deposit franchise and ample liquidity. Asian stocks to tread cautiously ahead of Fed meat, markets wrap. Bloomberg. Asian stocks are set for a cautious open following mild moves on Wall Street ahead of the Federal Reserve's last decision of the year. 
futures for Japan's equity benchmark pointed higher, while those for Hong Kong and Australia were little changed. The latest economic figures have brought into question the aggressive pricing of a dovish pivot, with traders slightly trimming their wages on rate cuts in 2024. Speculation has also been spurred that Chairman Jerome Powell will try to throw cold water on the Fed easing buoyancy. China-Philippines maritime standoff escalating on path that could drag US into conflict, analysts warn. CNN The latest clashes between Chinese and Philippine vessels in the South China Sea have raised concerns that an armed conflict could break out between the two nations, potentially dragging the world's two most powerful militaries into open conflict, according to analysts. Last Sunday's clash, in which Chinese Coast Guard water cannons disabled a Philippine boat, was the most serious of four incidents this year between the two countries in the waters near Second Thomas Shoal, a feature China claims as its territory but where Philippine Marines man an outpost on a grounded ship. The situation on the shoal largely fell out of the headlines while China set up military installations on other contested territories in the South China Sea over much of the past decade. However, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., who took office last year, has taken a harder line on Chinese territorial claims and strengthened military cooperation with Washington. China acts, looks like and is being exposed as a bully, said Carl Schuster, a former director of operations at the U.S. Pacific Command's Joint Intelligence Center. House panel urges tougher trade rules for China, raising chance of more tariffs if Congress agrees. Associated Press a U.S. congressional committee has called for the alteration of the way Chinese-made goods are treated in the U.S. The committee recommended the introduction of higher tariffs on Chinese goods without removing China's preferential trade status, thereby creating a de facto repeal. Members of both parties endorsed the proposal, reflecting a growing willingness to build on tariffs introduced during Donald Trump's presidency despite the risk of retaliation by China. Hello, viewers. I'm Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degrees world, bringing you the latest news from around the globe. Today, we discussed Vietnam's successful bamboo diplomacy, President Biden's warning to Israel, US-China military communication, investment ideas for Asia, the cautious Asian stock market, the escalating maritime standoff between China and the Philippines, and proposed tougher trade rules for China. Vietnam's bamboo diplomacy has proven to be a smart strategy, allowing the country to strike a balance between major powers while pursuing its own interests. As China and the US vie for Vietnam's support, the country's non-alignment policy has helped it maintain influence and achieve economic and political success. President Biden's warning to Israel signals a shift in US stance, urging Israel to reconsider its actions in Gaza and warning of potential loss of international support. This marks a departure from previous US support for Israel, highlighting the Biden administration's commitment to peace and a more balanced approach in the region. The US and China are working on military-to-military -military talks, a positive step towards improving communication between the two countries. This development, agreed upon by President Biden and President Xi Jinping, shows a willingness to address tensions and find ways to engage constructively. Asian fund managers have named their top investment ideas for 2024, including buying the yen, selling Japanese bonds, and investing in Indian and Indonesian stocks. Their predictions are based on factors such as the potential end of negative rate policy in Japan and strong growth prospects in India and Indonesia. The Asian stock market is expected to tread cautiously ahead of the Federal Reserve's decision. Traders are trimming their wages on rate cuts in 2024, and there is speculation that Chairman Jerome Powell may try to temper expectations of further easing. The maritime standoff between China and the Philippines in the South China Sea is escalating, raising concerns of a potential armed conflict that could involve the US. The Philippine president's tougher stance on Chinese territorial claims, coupled with strengthened military cooperation with the US, has heightened tensions in the region. Lastly, a US congressional committee has proposed tougher trade rules for China, potentially leading to higher tariffs on Chinese goods. This reflects a growing willingness to continue with the policies introduced during the Trump presidency, despite the risk of retaliation from China. That's all for today's news. 
What are your thoughts on these developments? I'd love to hear from you. Remember, in the Six Degrees world, every opinion counts. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6DO team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6DO brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6DO team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6DO Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6DO Brief via email.